and the Federal Reserve has got to try and cope with a period whereby the US tax season uh, is starting uh, you know, in full in April. And what you're likely to see is a lot of liquidity being drained out of money markets in America to basically pay the US Treasury. And that will be money that will deplete liquidity uh, for sure. So that's number one. And that challenge really has to be overcome. And the question is, does the Federal Reserve allow bank reserves to drop and money market liquidity to drop? Or do they actually try and offset that in some way? Now, uh, I think that the tools they've got and maybe some of the soundings they've made would suggest that they're not prepared to meet that challenge. And you may get a dip in liquidity, in which case markets may correct. So that's the very short term. The medium term takes us probably out uh, a year and a half or so, really to the back end of 2025. Uh, and that's always been the uh, the period when we think the liquidity cycle is still expanding and basically hits a peak. So we still think that generally the trend or the cyclical uh, upswing is intact, uh, certainly for probably another 15 months. I mean, that, that should be the backdrop.